Thank you, Tony. Today, the trial of a Providence Elementary School principal accused of failing to report the alleged sexual abuse of young students wrapped up, but she will have to wait until Monday before learning the verdict. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh joins us live now from Warwick, where the trial took place at the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. We're live outside Kent County Courthouse tonight. Earlier today, we were inside the courtroom when the judge announced he would not deliver the verdict today, but instead Monday morning at 10 o'clock. Passionate closing arguments in day four of the Violet Lamar bench trial. She's the principal accused of breaking a new state law by not reporting to DCYF within 24 hours allegations of sexual misconduct at Harry Kazarian Elementary School. Four students, the gym teacher, James Duffy, inappropriately touched them. Lamar, a mandatory reporter, claimed she was unaware of the requirements of this 2017 law. Her lawyer told us Lamar was also unaware the allegations were sexual in nature. Presiding Judge James Carullo banned cameras in the courtroom because children testified. But we were there when the prosecutor said students must follow rules and adults must follow laws. After closing arguments today, we went to the school. Many parents said they haven't heard much about this case from the school district. I mean, they're concerned. You know, they want to know what's going to happen, what's going on. I mean, I haven't really heard anything, but I've been watching the news. I mean, as far as I know, she, she should have reported it, but I know the law has changed. We hope for the best teacher, you know, to do the right for team. I think when something goes wrong, they should come out. And let, and let people know. As for the gym teacher, he was charged last June with several counts of second degree child molestation and has pleaded not guilty. And new at six tonight, find out what the superintendent and head of HR for Providence Public Schools have said in this trial. Also, if parents feel their kids are safe at school. Live in Warwick, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. A judge is now considering the fate of a Providence school principal accused of violating a relatively new law. As we've been reporting, Violent Lamar is charged with a misdemeanor for failing to tell DCYF about molestation allegations against gym teacher at the Harry Kazarian Elementary School. I would assume supporter Kate Walsh has details on today's closing arguments and reaction from a parent live from Warwick. Kate. Well, we're live outside Kent County Courthouse where we are expecting a judge to deliver the verdict on Monday at 10 a.m. in this trial. Tonight we're hearing from a parent of a student at the school where she was principal. Students have rules. Adults have laws. That was the message from the prosecutor in closing arguments of the Violet Lamar bench trial. She's the principal accused of breaking a new law by not reporting to DCYF students' allegations of sexual misconduct by a gym teacher within 24 hours. Lamar's attorney said she was unaware of this new state requirement and didn't think the allegations were sexual in nature. We went to Harry Kazarian Elementary School in Providence as parents were picking up their children. Well, you have to have communication with the teacher, the principal, the administration, because if you don't, then you won't know what's going on. During the trial, the superintendent and head of human resources for Providence Public Schools testified they too were unaware of new state requirements. I don't want to speak on it because no one's ever been convicted of it. We don't know the actual outcome of it. As far as safety, I feel my daughter's safe because She's in a good environment now. I know her teacher. The gym teacher at the center of the allegations, James Duffy, has pleaded not guilty, charged with several criminal counts last June. This morning, the prosecutor also left things open, suggesting there could possibly be charges, civil or criminal, in the future for other people involved in this case. Live in Warwick, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.